Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to do a video of a comparison to my two Rugers. First one's going to be my LC9 and the second one my LCP380. There are many differences between this, these guns but um, some of them are pretty close to the same exact. Um, first of all, the Ruger LC9 has a 3.12 inch barrel, has a 7 plus 1 capacity, the weight is 17.10 ounces, the length on it, length is 6 inches, the width is 0.9 inches, 0 0.90 inches, and the height is 4 and a half inches. For the LCP, the barrel length is 2.75 inches. So it has a 6 plus 1 capacity. It's five, the length is 5.16 inches. The height is 3.60 inches. The width is 0.82 and the weight is 9.4 ounces. The differences between these guns as you can see the sights are different. The LC9 on the left has a three dot sight and the LCP doesn't really have much of a sight picture. Um, they both have the bobbled hammer, concealed hammer. The LC9 has a safety LCP has no safety. The trigger poles are about the same on these. Um, the LC9 has an internal lock system, which is right there. LCP does not. The LCP I can get two fingers, my pinky underneath. The LC9, I can get three fingers on it, no problem. Of course, you guys know the LC9 is a 9mm. The LCP is a 380. The difference between the two cartridges there's not a whole lot of difference. The, L, the 9 millimeter is a little bit bigger. This is a 115 grain Hydroshock and this is a 90 grain PDX1. They're very similar in size. Of course the 9 millimeters got a little more pop to it than the 380. Difference in the magazines. Of course, the LCP is a six rounder, LC9 is a seven rounder. Both guns made by Ruger. Both have the glass filled nylon polymer frame with the alloy steel slide. As you can see, LC9 is a bit different, a little bit longer, a little taller. Sight picture is different. LC9 has a loaded indicator chamber on it. The LCP does not. So, guys, I just wanted to show you a, a comparison of my uh, my two concealed carry handguns that I plan on using in the future as soon as I can uh, get my concealed weapons permit. Um, you've, you've seen reviews on both of these guns. I have not had one issue with either one of them. I would highly recommend either one of them for concealed carry or just for something just to go out and have fun with. 
I appreciate you guys watching. And all the information I gave you today was actually from the Ruger website. So you guys can go over there and check them out if you guys are interested in these guns. I would highly recommend both of them. I thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. And you guys be safe out there. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.